here we go again. Unbelievable. Hey guys, welcome back to Pop Games. If you're new here, please consider subscribing and checking out my content. All right, guys, so it turns out last night we had more drops for the PS5 consoles, and one was from GameStop and one was from Gamefly. Gamefly happened earlier in the evening, and they went ahead and had their sales on their website. However, the website crashed fairly quickly, and that is because thousands of people tried to get to the website, and of course, they don't have the power to, you know, have all that many people, all that traffic at once on their website, so yeah, their website crashed. But I'm curious to know, if you got a console last night from Gamefly, make sure you let me know in the comments down below. I'd like to hear it. And if you got shipment information already, that would be awesome as well to, to hear about that. Now, the big news was GameStop. GameStop had more bundles available for 10 p.m. Eastern Time. And this time we had a little bit of notice uh, because they said it earlier in the evening. And then it was like, all right, we're ready. So people started adding their payment information to the website. People started logging in, asking questions on Twitter, and I was trying to help everybody. And all these other accounts were also trying to help. We were all trying to work together, right? But guys, as soon as 10 o'clock hit, like nothing happened. You know, 10 p.m. Eastern time, nothing was happening. The pages weren't loading. And then eventually, the add to cart button started turning red, which means you can go ahead and click on it and add it to cart. However, when you would click on it, it would not let you add to cart. So people were spamming, literally spamming the uh, button a bunch of times. They would refresh and spam the button, refresh and click on the button. Now, a few people that I saw, well, more than just a few, it was a lot of people actually, were successful. They got the consoles. It doesn't matter what bundle they got. They, they, they were successful and they got those consoles. Now... The crazy thing is, of course, some people spammed that for like an hour and a half and they were not successful. I tried for myself, you know, on my phone with the uh, GameStop.com website the, on the phone, not the app because you couldn't find the uh, bundles on the app, which is kind of dumb, but whatever. So yeah, I used the uh, Safari on my iPhone and then I also used my computer, my desktop, and I cannot add it to cart, which is crazy. But, you know, like I said, some people were successful and then the majority of people were not successful. Now, here's the kicker. So, people, you know, the night ended or whatever, and uh, that was it, you know. They stopped having stock around, I want to say, midnight Eastern time or so. Then, guys, this morning, I'm getting people sending me messages and sending me uh, screenshots on Twitter of their orders being canceled from GameStop. Oh, my goodness. If that's not enough kicker, guys, can you imagine spending like an hour last night and you finally get the order to go through and then GameStop cancels your order? Now, GameStop is saying there was some payment problem, a payment issue, they're telling these people. Some people called GameStop, the customer service line, and they said, yeah, your order was canceled because it was a, there was a payment you know, discrepancy. There was a problem, so that person you know, hung up the phone, they called their bank, their bank said, hey, everything is fine, what are they talking about? So they called GameStop again, and they're like, hey, GameStop, my bank said it's fine, what happened? Oh no, it must have gotten out of stock. Dude, GameStop, bro, GameStop sucks so much. It's horrible, you know, they're one of the sites that they're so greedy, and I understand buying these bundles, you know, it's just a bunch of different products all added together, like the DualSense, uh, two DualSense controllers, a couple of games, and the PlayStation membership, and the console, it does come out to that amount of money, but however, they still want to make a profit, doesn't matter what. Whenever I go to the stores, they always try to upsell me, even though I say, no, I'm good. Are you sure you don't want another game? No, I'm good. Are you sure you don't want to sign up for this? No, I'm good. Like, please. So this is the thing about GameStop, guys. They're crooks. You know, the employees may not be bad, but their whole business model, I don't know if it's coming from corporate or not or whatever it is, like lying to customers, literally telling people your payment failed. You know, that's why you cannot get this console. No, it was not the payment failure, guys. It was GameStop selling more consoles than they had. They said it was limited, yes, 
They said that, but why would they keep the thing on? Why would they keep the button on there for people to try to click and purchase it? And then some people were even successful purchasing the consoles. Like, what are they doing? And GameStop always gets me like upset, guys. It's just like their business model really sucks. And I don't really shop at GameStop that much, guys, because, you know, I don't really like their company. And the only reason I got my PlayStation 5 from them was because that was right then during the showcase, the PlayStation 5 showcase event on September 16th. You know, it, I went at 7 o'clock to GameStop and it happened to be open. It was like the, the closest thing to my house, so I wanted to make sure I got a pre-order in. So I got that. So that's the last thing I bought, that and the headset, because I bought them both at the same time. That's the last thing I got from GameStop, and I don't think I'm going to do my, any more business with them. Not only that, guys, I don't know if you guys remember, they had that error on their website that, you know, a couple of weeks ago where they had everything on their website was, like, you know, free or completely, like, you know, super discounted. And I'm like, yo, what is going on? So I went on there and I bought a Nintendo Switch for, like, $75. You know, that was after taxes and everything. So I'm like, all right, I'm good. I bought the New Horizons Nintendo Switch Special Edition, right? So I bought that, and then it got canceled the next day. So I'm like, I knew it was going to get canceled, so I, I tried to fight it. Not only because, you know, I know it was a mistake on their end, but at the same time, you know, I paid for it, all right? So I called their company. I'm like, yo, you guys canceled my order. What's up? And they told me the same lie. There was a payment problem. Your bank denied the order. And I said, yo, you're full of crap, bro, because... My bank has money in it, and, uh, you know, you canceled the freaking order. What's going on? They're like, oh, yeah, well, we canceled the order because it must have been a stock shortage. And I'm like, dude, if I go to the website right now, I can still buy it for 300 bucks. You just don't want to honor the $75 that I paid for because it was your mistake. And they're like, oh, well, you know, we can't do that, blah, blah, blah. You know, we can't reinstate an order that was already canceled. And I'm like, you're full of crap, GameStop. You suck. Your whole, you know... All your customers come back to you and you still treat them like garbage. What is your problem? And they, they didn't do anything, guys. The guy, you know, on the phone was super rude. He was like, yeah, I'm the supervisor of, like, the corporate or whatever. I'm a supervisor here. I'm the highest person you can talk to and blah, 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 blah. And we can't do that. Sir, you're being really unprofessional. And I'm like, unprofessional? You're the one that won't honor something that you, it was your mistake and you won't honor it. Like, why are you doing this to us? You know, it really sucks and it aggravates me because, you know, I know it was a mistake, but at the same time, don't lie to me and tell me that my payment did not go through, you know? Say it was a mistake by GameStop. Don't say you're the customer, your funds did not go through. That is a lie. And that is what's happening right now with GameStop and the people that bought a PS5 last night. Instead of GameStop saying, oh yeah, we sold too many consoles that we didn't have stock for. Instead of saying that, they're saying, no, you guys, all you guys that are getting your orders canceled, all your, your funds, all your banks did not have enough money in them for you to buy the console. That makes me mad. Anyways, guys, that was my rant on GameStop. You know, it does suck that people got their orders canceled, but hopefully everyone gets a PS5 soon. Let me know in the comments down below if you got your order canceled or if your order is still good to go with GameStop. All right, guys, take care. I'll catch you guys later, and peace out. Good luck out there with PS5 Hunt.